Hi everyone, this is Lori here with Lori Hooks. Welcome, thanks for hanging out with me today. So uh, One Day Savings contacted me and asked me if I would be interested in reviewing um, some of their products. So uh, they had asked me before and I had declined because at the time they didn't have products that I was interested in. But then when they asked me this time, they now have um, crochet stuff. And so um, I was like, sure, I'd love to review some of your products, your crochet type products, and see what I think. So um, they have quite a bit of variety, actually. They have um, some crochet hooks with different handles, um, pretty colors, stuff like that. Um, I did not get crochet hooks because I am pretty attached to my clovers and tulips, and I probably wouldn't make use of the crochet hooks they had although I, I could have got some and, and gave my opinion of them but um, I'm pretty attached to them so I decided to review things that I would be more likely to be interested in so I will show you the three things that I got and uh, tell you what I think of them so the first thing that I got was this um, little container of stitch markers. It came in this little box and there's 10 different colors in here and they're sorted by color. I'm pretty sure there's a total of 100 stitch markers here. If there's not, I will put a note in on the bottom here, but I think there's 100. The price for this, I looked up the pricing before I started today, is $2.87 Canadian. So that is a very reasonable price for this box of stitch markers. Um, yeah, like I, I pay, I think about, I think if I buy them at Walmart, I pay about $4 and I only get maybe, maybe 20 in the package. And there it's a variety of sizes, which I don't really, well, it's two sizes. There's big ones and small ones and I don't really use the big ones very much. The other complaint I have about the ones from Walmart is that sometimes they break really easily. I bought some there and they were fine and others I bought there, they like broke the first time that I used them and because you can't play with them in the package, there's no way to know if they're going to break or not. But um, I have played with these a little bit. I tend to, these are these small plastic safety pin style, style or diaper pin style. And where I usually break them is right, right here. Um, you know, when I bend it to close it like this, it breaks right in this spot. And it's usually on the stitch markers that are stiffer. They're like a harder plastic and they're just not as bendy and they break. But these ones, they're nice and bendy and it is not breaking when I bend it. So I think that's really, these are really good stitch markers, in my opinion. Um, definitely worth $2.87 for 100 of them in this cute little box. That's the blue one, and I'll show you a green one. Oops, I dropped that one on the floor, we'll get another one. There's a green one, and it is the same. If anything, this one is a softer plastic, and it bends even easier. Try a yellow one. And it's the same. It bends nicely and easily. And the reason why I'm trying different ones is because, yeah, when I bought the Walmart ones, like at one time I bought a package of, I use mostly the small ones that are this size. It had um, green and, not green, yellow and light blue small ones and I think it was the light blue ones, they all broke right away. And the yellow ones, they did eventually break, but I did get some use out of them first. Um, I don't know if they were old, if they were made wrong, I have no idea. I just know that, um, I mean, it's four bucks. It's not a huge deal, it's just, it's more annoying that you go to put a stitch marker on your project and the thing breaks, especially if you don't have another one nearby. So impressed with stitch markers, they get a thumbs up. So the next thing that I got was this little, I'm calling it a yarn bag. I don't remember what they called it. 
Um, so it is this little bag. Um, so you could only fit like a small skein of yarn. You couldn't get like a full size Karen cake in here. There's no way it's too small, but it's this cute little bag. It'd be great for working on socks and that kind of thing. Um, it would also be nice for, I'm currently using this for my current project, which I pull from the outside. So I should have put this in here. This would have been perfect. Um, when I start the next ball or whatever you call these things, I'll probably put it in this bag because it would work great for that. But it's, the outside is like, um, material it has this geometric pattern on it that's pleasing colors are pleasing and it has a zipper top i have zipped and unzipped this zipper a few times the zipper works really good and the inside is like a nylon because the outside is a softer material and um, you put your ball of yarn in here and put your end out through the top and then work your project now I might just, I could just throw this ball of yarn in here for now and just not zip up the zipper all the way. And I could just leave it hanging out the side for now. That would be an option. Cute little bag, cute little handle. I like the bag, thumbs up. Okay, the third item that I got, um, oh, and I didn't see the price of the bag. The bag was $4.24. I think that's a very reasonable price for this little bag. Again, those are Canadian dollars. So the third item that I got, um, the fact that I am not pleased is probably not the fault of the company it is probably my fault so we're going to start out by saying that I'm probably displeased with myself not the product that I received I had in my head something different so um when you crochet projects like if you're going to make a purse or um I've made like a pillow cover you might want to add a zipper. So how do you crochet a zipper on? The other one is maybe, um, maybe if you're going to make like a, a towel topper would be the other time this could come in use. Um, so the issue with the zipper is that I've always had to sew the zipper on. I don't have a crochet hook that is small enough to penetrate through the fabric around the outside of the zipper and crochet onto it. So that is what I was planning to, what I was thinking that I was getting was something for that. Now this might work for that. I need to try it and see. But in reality, I think that the hook size is too small and I had a different, you know, when I was thinking about the size, I was thinking it's different. So I'm pretty sure that these are one millimeter, 1.25 millimeter, and 1.5 millimeter, and this is what the needles look like. I got one in there upside down. But it doesn't matter. But that's that's how the needles came. And then it came with this handle, and this is the handle. And this is the other perception that I had wrong was I was perceiving by looking at the pictures that the handle would be longer. Um, this handle is not like there's my finger, there's the handle. It's not very long. So in terms of working it through the zipper, whether or not it would be long enough to actually work it through the zipper very easily, I don't know. Um, I mean, obviously when I use a crocheted hook, there's is a tulip hook for example they're quite a bit longer so you'll be you take these crochet hooks and you undo loosen the screw a little bit oh I don't need this here undo the screw a little bit and you 
put your needle in. Oop. I told you the handle's small. And hopefully my dog doesn't start barking. She's dreaming, her tail's wagging. Now, nice, I don't have it loose enough. Now, could I lose this in here? Whoop, yeah, it goes right in, comes out the other end. So you put your needle in here and you tighten it up. And hopefully I didn't go off camera there. You tighten up the screw and then there you go. That's what it looks like. So whether or not I could actually work with this, that's kind of the question. Um, I don't have a zipper here to try it with right now, but that was my intention for ordering this one. So, so at some point I'll give it a try and see what I think of it. So, um, yeah, I don't know what else you could use this for. In the, in the product description, they had to use it for beading um, and embroidery. And I don't know what you would use it for embroidery. I have um, cross-stitched before. But I just used a needle and thread, so I'm not really sure what you would use it for in embroidery. But um, so that is the little tiny crochet hooks that I got. So overall, and this was four dollars and sixty-three cents. So overall, I am happy with the products that I received. Um, again, this is. I don't think this is their fault. I think this is me. I think this is me and my fault. I thought the handle was longer and in my head had that a 1.5 millimeter crochet hook was bigger than that. So, yeah. So, um, they are having their, I think they called it a mid-season sale right now. So I am going to link below these three products, um, I will also put in the details for the mid-season savings, which had a product code for it, and um, a link in One Day Savings website, and all that. So I want to thank One Day Savings for letting me review these products and for sending them to me to show to you guys and all that kind of stuff um go check them out they have um they have yarn they have crochet hooks if you like um you know if you aren't dead set on one type of crochet hook like i am um they had different sizes of project bags and little yarn bags they had different sizes of these um, I don't remember what type of knitting products they have, but they had other stuff before. So go check them out. See if you're interested in what they have. Their pricing is extremely reasonable. It got here really fast. It came in, I think they sent me the tracking number on, um, I'll put it below, but I think it got here in three or four days. So business days. So that's, that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, I thought it was pretty reasonable. So yeah, One Day Savings, check them out. And um, thank you One Day Savings for collaborating with me. And uh, I'll see you guys next time on Lori Hooks. Bye everyone.